What's up guys? Welcome back to another how-to video from White Trash Racing. Today we're working on a 2010 F350. I'm going to show you how to bleed the air out of your fuel system. Uh, disclaimer, this is just the way I do it. A lot of people are going to tell you this is not the right way to do it. It works for me. So you can do this method and save yourself a bunch of time and money or you can uh, do whatever you want. So. Right over here, I got a gallon container and this hose. Right here uh, on most trucks, you're gonna have uh, this fitting right here that's gonna have basically a, a valve stem in it. So do not lose this valve stem. This is a special valve stem for uh, diesel. You cannot just put a regular tire valve stem, it'll eat it up. And then you're going to need uh, some type of tool to take that out. I just got a little plastic one you get off a bicycle tube or something like that. And you want to take out that, uh... I don't know if you can hear me over that thing. Anyways, you want to take out that little valve. And then you want to hook on this piece of hose right here. To that outlet. So that you can uh, pump all the diesel into a container. So get yourself in container. You know 30 40 gallon container one gallon container whatever you want and then uh when you turn the key on it actually turns on the pump for the diesel so you just gotta cycle the key a few times i mean actually depends on uh what kind of repair you done i'm going on 10 15 times i'm still getting a little bit of air because i've worked on this truck a lot and you'll see inside of there there's little tiny air bubbles passing through the hose so they're getting smaller and smaller every time I cycle the key. And basically when all those air bubbles disappear, you're good to go. I've seen uh, if pretty much if you leave any air in the system, see all the air bubbles collecting right there? If you leave any air in the system, the truck's not gonna run right. So you just keep cycling your key until uh, you get no more air bubbles they're gonna start out probably real big when you first start pumping and if you turn the key on and you don't see no fuel coming out give it a minute because depending on what kind of repair you've done it 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 might have to fill up you know what i'm saying so give it a minute or two if you still don't see no fuel cycle the key again a couple times and if you've done it five ten times you still got no fuel you might have another problem but you can see it's pumping fuel right now and there's almost no air bubbles going through the line now so probably I'm going to just do one or two more times just to be safe. And then that's it. So again, guys, this is how to bleed the fuel system on a Ford F-350 or basically any truck with a 6.4 liter diesel. You know, I don't know what, what, what you might have that engine in, but this is how you bleed that type of fuel system. Again, if this video helps you guys out, please drop us a like. And uh, if you got something to say, drop us a comment. And of course, subscribe to the channel so that you can catch me on the next video. See you next time.